All right, hey, you know, uh, we need going in. Um, you know, Cincinnati's a very good basketball team. They're very, very well coached. Um, we needed to do a really good job on Thomas and Riser. And um, I thought, you know, Miller picking up two fouls in that, in that first half. But she had a, from then on, I thought she, she did some very, very good things. Um, for us, you know, we're asking a lot of guys to do different things that they're just not accustomed to, you know, and that's where we're at right now. But um, it's great to see young guys like uh, like El and Chris, uh, uh, Christina and and Maria have, as three freshmen, play the minutes that they have been playing. And, you know, Maria went down, and I think our kids responded. Um, Sydney Harvey coming off coming off the bench and – and now get in, get into where she was at. Uh, I thought she was she was spectacular from the free throw line, and I thought offensively she was very very assertive. Um, she came she uh, she she came ready to play and hit some really really big shots. And then you know you get what you get with with T and Betty interiorly, uh, in how they can score around the, Betty scoring around the basket and rebounding. And they both they both have two very tough assignments. Um, we were able to play th through some things with Betty getting her third foul. I believe we saved her the first five minutes of that third quarter. So we, withst we withstood that with, with Shea getting some valuable minutes. But uh, now we got to figure out um, without Maria, and we got Pinzon coming back, and now we got to get other guys to step up and, and, uh, and give us some valuable minutes from different places. Looked like uh, Marie just kind of spun wrong under the basket, um, kind of a, maybe a knee injury of some sort. Well, it was a defensive play. She was going back on defense when Rogers drove it. So uh, I know she went down aw awkwardly. She's a kid that's never been injured in her whole basketball career. So um, from where we're at and the pain that she was in, it uh, it didn't look good. And then uh, how far away do you think uh, Lisa is right now? Yeah, we're hoping we're hoping that she's able to play at Tulsa. You know, that's what we're hoping for. So we'll see. Um, Elena and Sydney, obviously, you already mentioned a little bit. Uh, thirteen, thirteen from the line today, especially Sydney late. Yeah. Um, you know the, the, the clutch factor from them coming in. Well, you know, Sydney's always been a good free throw shooter because she's been able to get downhill and get to the basket, and she's. She's very confident because she's been fouled so much. So at the end of the game, it's really, you know, last year, that's what she did. And I think her first game back, we put the ball in her hands and she closed out, <clears throat> closed out a game with her making free throws. So there was a confidence factor there. But, you know, also Elle stepping up there, um, playing the way she did. Um, I thought, you know, Bobby played, Bobby's probably played, played today more minutes than she's ever played in her life. She played 20 minutes and looked exhausted, but she had a really, really great stat line at, at half because she did other things. She rebounded, assists, and scored. But, you know, for perimeter wise, without a doubt, the two young ladies and Al and Sid, you know, what they did was, was outstanding. But I, I, I think we, we had a lot of guys do different things. And that's what it, if everybody does their job and we rebound and we defend and we take care of the ball, we finish with 13 turnovers. Our first, we turned the ball over five times the first four minutes, and we came out of the gate shooting three for five, and we were up. You know, all of a sudden we take care of the basketball and every all the possessions flowed. But um, you know, the glass is the biggest difference for us. That's got to continue to be the strength. Uh, and what we need to continue to hang our hat on. And you've out-rebounded every single opponent this year, uh, 15 for 15 in that mark. That's truly a testament to everybody. I mean, and, it, and it's not just coming from the bigs. It's coming from the guard. Rebound's about effort and accountability. On the defensive end, block your guy out. Block your guy out and then go, go be – and on the offensive end, you know, rebounding's about effort and being selfish. Being selfish to go want to get that, go, want to go get that rebound to get us either an extra possession or to go get a put back, and you know, that's 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 something that has been a positive for us all year, and it's got to continue to be a positive. Most people have, most people that play 15 games, 
don't lose six. And if, if you've re- out-rebounded the other team in those six losses, but you look at extra – we gave up extra possessions on the other, turning it over and shooting percentage. So if we can continue to rebound and shoot the ball like we did and defend and play for one another, you know, January and February will be fun. Well, we practice them every day. We're going to shoot at least 50 every day. So that helps shooting them game-like in practice and outside of practice. Yeah, we have to, to, to have a, a high confidence to make all the shots and most of all believe in ourselves. So uh, watching your teammates making them makes you to hit them too. Um. Christina had seven assists today, career high for her. I mean, she, you know, being able to distribute the basketball definitely makes it a lot easier for y'all. So, so how, you know, beneficial is it to see her pass the ball like that? It's great. Makes you hit shots. I mean, without her, I wouldn't have hit a lot of my shots. Right. But yeah. And then Sydney, um, you know, coach Satchel on the bench to start today after you know maybe a bad performance against Brown. I mean, did you see that as a as a personal challenge to to maybe perform? even better today? Um, no, just wherever I'm needed, I'm going to play. Um, it's just, I mean, it's kind of easier when you can come off the bench, you can see how the game's going, the flow of the game, you get to see stuff. So, I mean, it's a plus sitting on the bench or starting on the bench too. And then finally, Elena, I mean, you, have you really kind of taken the role as one of the primary scorers on this team and, and uh, you know, how have you seen your, your personal game evolve in that role over the last couple of weeks? Uh, I mean, uh, I think like that lately I'm trying to get much better than I was. I'm trying harder. I execute the plays and stuff like this. Uh, and like, uh, as I said, as I said, uh, we have a good chemistry with each other. So this really helps me to get my to do my job right, that's it.